DNA kits are having a serious moment in our culture, but could they help solve our nation's opiate crisis? A new DNA test screens patients' genes for addiction risk. The makers claim it could help save lives. The idea would be that you test someone genetically, and if they're at high risk for opiate addiction, you would look for alternative treatments. If someone's low risk, you would be more willing to prescribe an opiate. Thoughts, docs? So I think this is really interesting. It's a swab you do of your cheek, and it tests for 16 genetic variants that are associated with the brain reward. So it's either associated with an increased or decreased risk of addiction. And it's quite sensitive. It's 88% specific if you're likely to have addiction, and it's 97% sensitive if you aren't. So you would send this off maybe before an elective surgery or procedure where you knew you might be getting opioid medications, and that would help you understand with your doctor whether or not it's something you wanted them to prescribe. What I like about this is, you know, some people don't understand how or why other individuals will become addicted to opioids. So I like that we are doing studies, more and more studies looking at this because just like some people are genetically predisposed to high blood pressure and diabetes, some people are really genetically predisposed to being addicted to opioids. So culturally, I think it will do a lot to help those individuals combat the, that addiction in addition to potentially preventing the addiction. Yeah. I'll take the devil's advocate position here. Number one is 399 bucks. Most of it's gonna be out of pocket expense. We should treat everyone as a potential addiction risk for opiates. And so if you're gonna take a certain subset of the population who is high risk and say, well, we're gonna try all these alternative pain management techniques, you should be trying those same alternative pain management techniques for every single individual <laughs> who walks yeah. through your clinic or has a surgery. Uh, to me, that's where the mindset has to shift. It can't be, well, hey, you five people over there, you're gonna have to do this. Everyone else, you get opiates, no problem. I, I worry that you start labeling people too based on a DNA test, which I, I agree, the, the data's pretty good on it, and I'm not saying there isn't a place for it, but I worry if this becomes ubiquitous, we're gonna have these two camps of people. Oh, those are the high risk addicts over there. I think we just need to stop prescribing as many opiates, period. No, Use all the alternative treatments. I would like to think that that day has come. Do we need to get better? Yes, but you know, with me, after surgery, we do have to give them something for pain, and we're prescribing differently. We're limiting as the well, supply. I, I, think, I think you bring up, you're absolutely right, Travis. I think that is the mindset we need, uh, but I think, it's, I think it can be another part of the puzzle so someone can know, like, I am at high risk for a particular addiction, so I need to be really careful, but you're right. But we all Overall, get, don't you, you people know, you're right, already you're right. know if they have an addictive personality? And to just, again, it gets back to me to some extent just the cost of 399 bucks, which if you got that in your yeah. back pocket, you just wanna send it off, I get all that. And I, and I think it's smart. I love the technology here. I will say what Drew alluded to, which is so important. If you're prescribing someone a short course, less than three days, no matter who they are, they're much less likely to get addicted. If it's as much as two days longer than that, five days or more, whoever you are, you're more likely to become addicted. And the way that everyone's prescribing now, hopefully that's going to be what reduces the risk. And I think it's really interesting. In, in 2016, 259 million prescriptions were written for opiates in this country. That's enough for every single adult to have a bottle of pills. So something has to change in terms it, of the It is remarkable how the addition now of alternative techniques, some purely medical like nerve blocks, et cetera, combined with acupuncture and other techniques have shown remarkable progress. I think the question that you need to ask beyond a DNA test is, hey doc, do I, do I really need these opiates and what are my alternatives? Because quite frankly, we are all at risk.